What's going on everyone? This is Eric, as always, coming at you from just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. And today, we will be discussing the Jeff Samarja trade, which occurred on July 5th, 2014. Now, of course, as always, we have the color-coded goodness of this lovely whiteboard. So, without further ado, we'll jump in to the video. Now, the trade that we're discussing, like I said, is the Jeff Samarja trade, and he was traded alongside starting pitcher Jason Hamill to the Oakland Athletics in exchange for a trio of players in shortstop Addison Russell, starting pitcher Dan Straley, and outfielder, outfielder Billy McKinney, all of whom went to the Chicago Cubs. How did this trade work out for the two teams? Well, Samarja himself, the man in the title, he did decent. He had a decent half season, but he ended up getting traded before the season, you know, after the uh, 24 after the 2014 season. And he was traded alongside relief pitcher Michael Yona to the Chicago White Sox in exchange for four players. Starting pitcher Chris Bassett, shortstop Marcus Simeon, catcher Josh Fegley, and first baseman Rangel Ravello. How did those four players do? Well, Ravello himself, he only spent two years in the minors before leaving, so nothing great with him. Fegley was actually a decent backup catcher for five seasons in Oakland. So that, that's not bad, getting a backup catcher of five years in this trade, not bad at all. Uh, Chris Bassett, he's been a good pitcher when healthy since 2015, but he has also needed Tommy John. And again, that's when healthy. He hasn't been the best pitcher in the league, but he's been good. Of course, the big name in this trade for Oakland was shortstop Marcus Simeon, who he's been great. He's been a starting shortstop for the team since 2015 when he was acquired. And originally his defense was awful, but he has drastically improved it since going to Oakland. And his offense has been respectable as well. Obviously, he has a 20.5 war in Oakland. He was the best player war-wise in this trade. So it goes to show you. Plus, it offsets the loss of Addison Russell. So, all in all, decent trade there. And then Jason Hamill, he basically was the definition of average in a half season before he left. He played. He just didn't do much at all for Oakland. And he left. He wasn't good. He wasn't bad. How did Chicago do? Well... Let me start with Billy McKinney just because he's the easiest one. McKinney himself was actually traded to the New York Yankees, and that trade has been discussed in the Aroldis Chapman video. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check that out. He was a prospect at the point, so they traded him to the Yankees. And yeah, um, so he essentially was a part of the piece that helped the Cubs win the 2016 World Series. How did Russell and Straley do? Well... Addison Russell, he actually debuted in 2015, and he was a solid piece for the Cubs through late 2018. But then some domestic violence allegations really hurt him, caught up to him. And when he finally returned in around the summer of 2019, he struggled, and he ended up leaving the team. They didn't want to re-sign him. They were done with him. But he did play a key role in the World Series victory. And last but not least, we have Dan Straley. While Straley himself, he was beat up in a couple of starts for Chicago before he was traded alongside infielder Luis Valbuena to the Houston Astros in exchange for outfielder Dexter Fowler. Now Fowler, he had two solid seasons in Chicago before he himself walked, left the team. So how did the White Sox and Astros do? Um, we'll start with Houston for one time. You know, normally I'd go back, but let's start with Houston. So, Straley himself, he was mostly in the minors for a half season before he himself was traded away from Houston. And Luis Balbuena is the bigger name here. Um, he was basically a utility player for a couple seasons in Houston. And he recently passed away in a car crash. I believe it was in 2018. So, it was just a very somber moment. That's where a lot of people probably know the name Luis Balbuena. Because he was going to be a decent player. He was supposed to be a decent player for the uh, Angels at that time. But unfortunately he passed away. But he was good in Houston. Now the White Sox, Jeff Samaja, he had a single season 
for the White Sox, and he had some high notes in which, of course, he pitched two complete game shutouts, but he did have some low points. He actually led the American League in home runs allowed, and he had the worst ERA in the league among qualified pitchers before he himself left, and he would go to the San Francisco Giants. Now, you went out here, he played okay over two seasons before he himself was cut. You'll notice that with a lot of relief pitchers. They have respectable wars, but they just don't do enough. But yeah, that is the Jeff Samaja trade for the most part. Uh, Oakland comes out on top with a 28.2 war, mostly because of Marcus Simeon. But again, you got him and you got a decent starting pitcher and a heck of a backup catcher for five years. Chicago, I wouldn't say they lost either. They got a 16.2 war, and that does not take into consideration a role as Chapman. So, you know, they got two pieces that really helped them win the World Series. So, again, I wouldn't say they lost. Uh, Houston themselves got a 4.8 war, mostly because of Valbuena. So, again, and then the Chicago White Sox ended with a 0.5 war. So, I mean, all said and done, nobody truly lost this trade, which is always good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely, if you did, make sure to leave a like. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.